What is up guys? Welcome back to Dan's Reviews. And today we're going to be doing our weekly review for this week's episode of the Walking Dead television series, Season 7. This one's going to be for the Walking Dead Season 7, Episode 14 this week, which is called The Other Side. So, man, this one was good. So, um, I'll make sure to, uh, just... To say right off the bat, spoiler warning, as usual, uh, if you have not seen the most recent episode of The Walking Dead, uh, you may want to watch it before you watch this video. So, man, this one was awesome. So, um, can't, can't be, um, any more excited for the last two episodes after this one. This one really set up a lot of different things. Uh, came, you know, it's just... This one was, uh, it was intense, especially the stuff at the, uh, the hilltop with, uh, you know, um, Simon and, uh, all that kind of stuff. Really loved it because you don't really know. I personally really felt like they were gonna, that, that, that Daryl, when they were hiding underground, uh, and the guy was kind of in the room, I thought that Daryl was gonna kill that guy if the guy found, uh, you know, him and, uh, uh Maggie. So, um... Just a crazy episode. I loved it. Um, I've so far I've heard people talk about it. I usually uh, t like to hear people talking about it there, and uh, I seems like some people actually did like it, and then like a lot, and then it seems like some people really just hated it for some reason. So, um, there's some mixed opinions about this one. I'm not really sure. Maybe it's because we haven't seen uh, Rick in like two episodes, and a lot of people love Rick's character. We uh, we barely saw Negan. I mean, yeah, you, you wouldn't even say we saw Negan at all. Like he was there, and you saw him walking out, but that was about it. So, um, I would say personally, I really, really, really enjoyed this episode uh, a lot more than I thought I would. I honestly thought this was going to be one of those where um, we'd have a couple of cool scenes, maybe with. Uh, Simon and, you know, uh, Gregory, and we'd have, you know, the doctor be taken. I kind of knew that was going to happen, so that was, uh, that wasn't a complete surprise, but the way everything went down was just insane. So, uh, of course, uh, we have, okay, so let's just start from the beginning, we'll go to the end. So, we have everybody at the Hilltop training, which is just awesome, and we've already talked about the first, like, five minutes of the, uh, the episode, so I'm not really going to talk about that. If you want to hear more about that, uh, check out the, um, video I posted, uh, before the last one, so, um, I'll link it in the description so you guys can, uh, see what I mean, so, uh, just really great, so, uh, we've seen, uh, tons of different things going on in this one, um, you know, uh, and it's just a really great environment, we have the hilltop and everything like that, so, uh, we haven't seen the hilltop in a while, so we catch up with them and, uh, all that, so, um, again, not much to say about the intro, because, the whole, the whole intro was a sneak peek that we already saw, so uh, that didn't really change anything. But uh, the thing is about this one is that I really, really enjoyed the way that they put, um, you know, they, they every single time, if a character's going to die, they always kind of put in a couple little foreshadowing things, kind of the character talking to some others, uh, kind of setting it up. And I almost feel like seeing this episode, I'm even more confident now that Sasha's definitely going to die in the finale of The Walking Dead Season 7, uh, hands down. Uh, I would definitely have to say that, because she she gave Enid, you know, a, a little necklace thing or whatever. She said it's for the baby, uh, you know, and just tons of different other things. Um... And, uh, it's just, yeah, I, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and say, I think Sasha's gonna die in the season 7 finale, basic, basic prediction right there, done. So, um, I, I really, though, I really was surprised, though, um, kind of jumping back and forth here, that she locked her out, you know, she, uh, she didn't let Rosita go in there, too. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, of course, try to eliminate the saviors in the sanctuary. Um, she, she locked Rosita out, and, uh, you know, I, I thought that was really crazy, and she said, it's not your time, so, um, but then obviously she would know that, uh, you know, she's probably gonna die, and Sasha probably knows that, so, uh, yeah, so, um, we're, we're gonna have to see what happens with Sasha, uh, next week, obviously, uh, the promo for next week looks really good, uh, but we don't see Sasha, so it might be pushed to the finale, I'm not sure, 
Uh, but then we have uh, Sasha and Rosita. They go out, you know, they they go, uh, they take a car or whatever. Uh, really great, really great scene uh, where where they light, uh, you know, the the car on fire just so they can uh, get away. And then they get, you know, they find another car because they they lure the zombies to the car that's on fire. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and then they kind of drive. So that's pretty cool. And then we also see Simon, of course, who goes to the hilltop looking for Daryl, and again, do not find him. Which realistically. I think they would have found him. That guy would have definitely found him because, like, they were like they were just tucked in a back of a sh in the back of the shelf. Like, like I would have seen them as soon as I got like further back. I would have been like, "Oh, there's two people there. Why are you guys over here?" Right? Uh, and then I would have saw Daryl, and I would have been like, "Ah, oh, you know." And then I think that I really, I really wanted the guy to find Daryl. To be honest with you. Um, n not in the way you guys might think I'm saying it, which is like, you know, um, bring him back to the sanctuary and, uh, the whole torture thing again. No, I don't want that. I want, um, I wanted him to find him because I want to see Daryl kill a savior. Because then I want, I want the saviors to know that the survivors are starting to kill saviors again. And then that's when the all-out war is going to start. And that could be, you know, something right there. Um... That would have been cool, to be honest with you. Uh, but, I mean, again, though, Simon would have gone looking for the guy. So, uh, maybe that, maybe it was good the way it turned out, but I'm not sure. So, uh, we also have Daryl, which actually, uh, this scene, I have to talk about for a few minutes. Him there with his whole, um, you know, Glenn, uh, you know, he died. It was, it was my fault or whatever. Uh, you know, we needed that scene. That was really emotional, um... It was really sad. So, uh, you know, he wouldn't look at Maggie, and then, you know, he finally did, and he, he, uh, he, he, he broke down, right? And he's like, you know, I'm sorry for what I did. And Maggie said, you know, it's not his fault. You know, you're just trying to defend the group, and Glenn, Glenn would have been proud, right? So, um, I thought that was really sad, but I think we needed that scene. And, you know, he really, everybody blames Daryl for the Glenn death. I don't. I, like, he didn't know that that was going to happen. If he would have known, he would have stayed down. But you know what? He, you know what? Like, honestly, I keep bringing this up. He might have killed somebody else anyway. Because Rosita would not look at Lucille. So, I think, and you could tell he was getting mad. He's like, take a look! So, I wouldn't have been surprised if he was just like, take a look! And then he'd be like, Phew, you know? You know, you're not gonna take a look? Alright. And then he just hits Glenn. I, I think it'd be ex the exact same. Just, it's slightly changed with the whole Daryl punch thing. But I think he would have killed Glenn anyway, to be honest with you. Also because he kind of got mad when uh, Negan was kind of looking at everybody and looked at Maggie, right? He got mad and he got out of line. So I think Negan would have killed him anyway, to be honest with you. Um, I think so. Uh, so, um, man, I just... Ugh, I, I, I really love that scene. Um, so... Then we also see uh, the necklace, right? Uh, Sasha with the the necklace that she, um, uh, Rosita made for Abraham. That was so so terrible. I was a little mad at Rosita there. I was like, like, or not Rosita, Sasha. I was like, oh my god, Sasha. Seriously, why do you do that? Um, <clears throat> and so then we also see, uh, you know, Sasha. She's trying to aim, right? And she, she's trying to get to Negan, but. You know, she, Negan just, he moves too much, right? The whole, wow, you know, he moves too much. I just, I don't, yeah, he does move like that. You know, if you watch the episodes, he moves around like he has problems or something. So, um, he's very awkward the way he moves. So, um, I, I'm just saying, I think she, I think it's good that she didn't take the shot and they just went in the middle of the night. I think that was a little better of a plan, but I think overall their plan is stupid anyway, so... Really, who am I to say that, you know, the plan was good at all? Either way, uh, if you go in at night or if you shoot him right then and there, you know. And then they see Eugene, and, uh, of course, that was crazy because he doesn't, you know, you know, like, she's like, we're getting you out, right? And he's like, uh, no, no, I'm not going, because he's that scared of Negan. And to be honest with you, I would have been scared of Negan, too, because God knows, he could have been getting out of there, she could have been opening the fence, he could have been on his way out, right? They could have been running, and then Negan comes out with a huge machine gun or, you know, whatever, and he sees Eugene, and he's like, oh, you know, and maybe even shoots all three of them. You know, it's just, 
it's it wouldn't work it really would not have worked and to be honest with you i didn't i didn't think that was his opportunity either because there were saviors coming out of the door uh the back door like constantly right you know so with eugene so i i don't think i would have got out either um and he's just you know he, you know he's so scared of me and he you know he is kind of a coward sometimes uh he's not he's not like the worst person on the walking dead but you know, uh, he, he is a bit of a coward, and I do understand that, uh, because, and this I can understand, because really, who would want to best Negan right now? In All Out War, uh, you know, the survival, the survivors will have more people, so then, if you have the opportunity to get out then, in All Out War, then I would have made a run for it. And the last thing I want to talk about is, um, the whole ending scene with, uh, Rosita, and, uh, you know, the whole part with, uh, you know, um, you know, uh, lo what looks to be Daryl with the crossbow and everything. But then, also, if you guys don't remember, Dwight has a crossbow, and he has the same kind of hair as Daryl, so you can't really tell who it is. Uh, that's all I'm saying. So we're going to make a whole video on that, so I'm not going to talk about that too much. But uh, I'm, I'm not really sure who it is, because we saw Daryl, you know, um, and he was like, Where, where's Rosita? And, you know, you know, he, he, was, he had the crossbow. And he's like, "Where, you know, where's Rosita and Sasha? And it looked like he was going after them. But clearly he's not. Clearly he's just going to go back to Alexandria and get his, you know, um, go with Rick's group at the uh, Oceanside, right? Because we see that in next week's promo. So, obviously, I'm going to say at the end, that probably is Dwight, you know? Um, I don't really see a way that it couldn't be. Because, you know, they're at the sanctuary, and who's at the sanctuary right now? Dwight. And Daryl wouldn't really have enough time to get to the hilltop to, you know, the sanctuary in that amount of time. I don't think so. Because uh, that scene when he was asking, um, I, I forget who he, who he was even asking. I think it was Jesus. Uh, you know, he's like, you know, where's Rosita and Sasha? Well, you know, it, it looked like nighttime, and it looked like around the same time that Rosita and Sasha were in there trying to get Eugene out. So, um, I'm, I'm just saying, I, I don't think, uh, you know, that was, uh, uh, like I said, not a good plan with uh, the whole Eugene thing. But I, I'm going to go ahead and say it's Dwight, but I'm still going to make a whole video on that, just in case. But, um, really, really just love the way everything kind of went down this episode. Really building up to the finale. Can't wait for next week. Next week is going to be bananas. I can already tell by the, the promo, it's going to be nuts. So, anyway, I can't wait to, uh, to see the uh, episode, obviously. And I'll see you guys really soon for the predictions.